Listen, I'll tell you what's more exciting. Uh, the Johannesburg Roads Agency, they embarked on a 10-year project to upgrade and rehabilitate major roads. So we're talking signage and roads as well as bridges. Now, they're putting this in motion because they want to keep the commuters safe. So hopefully by 2023, we are done with this project in the world-class African city. However, to get there is going to be a little bit problematic because people are talking about it. It's going to add about 40 minutes to our commute time. However, Expresso is here to your rescue. We're going to give you some tips to keep you calm, rested in the traffic. Joburgers long for the days where the fast lane was the place to be to skip traffic. But now motorists can expect to spend about an extra 25 minutes more in traffic due to roadworks. Looks like you're going to have to do a lot more than just change lanes to get ahead. Metro Police advise that locals add 40 minutes to their commutes as maintenance along the M1 highway will persist until 2017, adding to the backlog. On the 27th of February, we started with a lane drop on the northbound direction. That means we've taken three lanes down to two lanes until the end of December of this year. On the 3rd of April of this year, we will also be dropping a lane on the southbound direction that is travelling into Joburg CBD. So from the 3rd of April, motorists will have only two lanes of traffic available travelling both northbound and southbound. The project forms part of the JRA's 10-year plan to improve Josie's 13,500 kilometre road network by resurfacing potholed roads, improving stormwater catchments, repairing existing bridges like the Double Decker Highway and pedestrian bridges linking communities to economic opportunities. Public transport users which are currently using the M1 will experience the same inconvenience and congestion as a result of the lane drop changes. That could be more people on the Gau train, that could be more people on the rear via bus services and all those operators has been contacted and increased if necessary depending on the demand. The JRA's mobile app allows motorists like Brett to gauge delays and report additional incidents like accidents which will affect their planned routes. The JMPD has made a firm commitment to assist the JRA in monitoring the alternative routes. Should those intersections either not cope with the volumes or be out as a result of weather or power, JMPD has made a commitment that they will increase their workforce to assist us in manning those intersections during the critical peak hour periods. Visible policing and CCTV installations at high-risk intersections aim to disincentivize smash and grabbers from taking advantage of delays. The AA suggests motorists remain calm while driving. If you happen to find yourself stuck in a jam, make sure that you have the ultimate traffic kit. Hands-free cell phone kit, cell phone car charger, sunglasses for the afternoon sun, and my personal favorite, snacks. Remember, there is a 500 rand traffic fine for driving while operating a cell phone. So if you can't be hands-free, get creative. If you're bored of your playlist, you can always listen to audiobooks. Or even better, learn a new language with phrases that can help you while you're stuck in traffic. Shop boss, can you let me in? Oh, shop shop. The current configuration, what you see now prior to construction, is what you will find after construction. We are not adding lanes at this point in time. We obviously are upgrading the riding surface, we're upgrading the safety aspects of the breaches, and also there will be hopefully no more flooding taking place, which causes huge disruptions during the peak period. By 2023, Joburgers will see gravel roads turn to tar, safer pedestrian crossings and highway flooding become a thing of the past. But we'll have to sit through the changes one rush hour jam at a time.